So we had a request in the comments to do a video about Nicolas Cage. So let's do a video about Nicolas fucking Cage. <laughs> Spend enough time online and you'll learn a lot about the mysterious and legendary figure known only to the world as Nicolas Cage. A lot has been written about Cage over the years and not a lot of it is flattering. So I wanted this video to serve as a counterweight of sorts to show that there's another side to Nicolas Cage. For example, did you know he's literally one of the most generous men in all of Hollywood? Nicolas Cage has become the butt of many an internet joke, thanks mainly to his very peculiar spending habits. Depending on which source you consult, Nicolas Cage bought everything from a private island to a fleet of Rolls Royces to two albino cobras. In addition, almost everyone who's ever worked with Cage seems to have one peculiar story about something weird or stupid he did with a valuable piece of property he happened to own. Have you got any examples? Well, Sean Bean met him once while they were recording a movie together, and he said, I was getting drunk at Nicolas Cage's house, you know, as you do, and we were playing pool, and Nick Cage, for some reason, had this big prehistoric bear skull. Cage knocks it over drunk. Oh no, oh God. Nick, was that, was that valuable? And apparently Cage didn't say anything, he just got really upset and put the skull inside a towel and went to bed. And then the next morning, they couldn't find him. And it turns out he'd gone into the woods near his house and just buried it. Do you reckon that during that, Sean Bean was just inside thinking to himself, I'm glad I didn't knock it over. Oh, I'd be buried in those woods. Yeah, because it was, <laughs> so Sean Bean mysteriously found his pool cue in back of net. <laughs> Nicholas Kane is a weird guy, nobody's going to deny that, but that comes with the territory of being an eccentric millionaire actor. I just wanted to balance it out by the fact that there's all these stories about his peculiar spending habits, none of them ever seem to mention the millions and millions of dollars he's given to charity. For example, according to the website Look to the Stars, which tracks and notes the philanthropic activities of various celebrities, Nicholas Cage supports no less than 14 different charities. In addition to this, Cage has made two substantial million dollar plus donations supporting child soldiers and victims of Hurricane Katrina, respectively. So why is this never reported? It is sometimes. Forbes, for example, once put out an article listing him alongside the likes of Bono and Oprah as one of those charitable figures in all of Hollywood. The difference is he just doesn't draw attention to his like philanthropic endeavours, unlike Bono, who's just a massive asshole about it all the time. And there's another example of how charitable Nick Cage is. In 2008, he was accused by a woman called Kathleen Turner of getting drunk and stealing her chihuahua in her memoirs, which, to be fair, sounds exactly like something you can imagine Nick Cage doing. Stealing someone's dog doesn't sound very charitable. But that's the thing, Nicolas Cage didn't steal the dog. And Joey did, he sued her for libel, as well as all the newspapers who reported on it without fact checking it first. And here's the thing, Joe, Nick Cage did when he got, instead of asking for money that he was all he's entitled to get for the damage to his reputation, no, he said, I want everyone involved to make instead a sizable donation to a charity of my choice. Which means Nicolas Cage is so charitable, he now resorts to donating money by proxy. If you saw the headline, because this is what the headline ran, Nick Cage accused of getting drunk and stealing chihuahua. You read that headline, you think, sounds about right. That sounds like something Nick Cage would do. Which just shows how crazy this guy is. Yeah. Or, like the, not how crazy, but the reputation that he has for being weird. And then he saw it and went, but I love animals. Why would I steal a child? He got so pissed off, he's like, I'm gonna fucking sue this person. And every newspaper reported on it. Oh, you're gonna do the same take cleaners, Nick? He's like, no, no. I want to make them give money to charity. If you win a, what's it, a settlement for someone in court, they can challenge that and say, well, it's too much. And they usually it'll get reduced. And that's genius when you say, I don't want a settlement. I want to donate like $500,000 to charity. You can't really argue now that's too much. Because then it's like, we, we were wrong. We admitted wrong in court, but we don't think we deserve to give, we don't think we have to give this money to it. It's genius. They've got to do it. There's no out. There's no out. And then Nick Cage looks like a super awesome guy, which he is. Charity gets money, and then they, these people, these lawyers, they sort of come like, for fuck's sake, we can't even challenge this. He deserves to be a crazy asshole who buys like T Rex skulls. It's like, if you give a million dollars to Hurricane Katrina victims and go, you know what I'm going to do with the other money that I earn? I want to go buy a T Rex skull. It's like, you know what? You enjoy that T Rex skull, sir. You've earned it. You've earned that T Rex skull. Like, he had to give back because it was stolen. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't even, he was really upset. He was like, I'll give it back. It's not mine. <laughs> He's a simple man with simple needs. All he wants is his fleet of fancy, go his fancy cars, his private island, his giant pyramid super tomb, and some albino cobras. And people are like, no, you can't have that. 
That's the thing he has. Well, I'm not making that pyramid super team up. He has it in New Orleans. He sounds like a super villain. Yeah, he is. But at the same time, he's not because he gives all the money to charity. I love Nick Cage. Who doesn't love him? I don't know. Tax man. Do you know that's why he appears in so many shitty movies? He's trying to pay off all his, um, his tax debts. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. And you have to do it. You have to. The thing that people say about Nicolas Cage is it doesn't matter if he's giving an Oscar performance or if he's in a shitty B movie, he will give it 110% every time. And I think nothing sums that up better than when he was in the movie G Force. Right. Do you know that shitty movie about guinea pigs? Yeah, the guinea pig one. What is the bathroom? Well, for me, pretty much where you're standing. Oh, oh, do you know what he plays in that? He plays a mole. And do you know why he plays a mole? Because there was an interview with him afterwards where he says, well, they have to be in the movie, but I don't like guinea pigs. I don't think they're very noble creatures. I want it to be something that's like got, that's well known for its courage and bravery. So it's like, I want to be a mole. <laughs> so even when he was going to be in this shitty animated, crappy Pixar knockoff, that he's just going to get paid for and he could just walk, phone his performance. He's like, no, I'm going to do, I want to be, a mole. If you'll excuse me, it's showtime. Going up. Why? It's because he's Nicholas fucking Cage. And next time you ask why, the answer is because it's Nick Cage. Here's another story. Right, Nicholas Cage bought an octopus because he wanted to study its movements to help better his acting. Do you know why? Why? Because he's Nicholas Cage. Nicolas Cage has also invented a new form of acting known as Nouveau Shamanic, which he used mainly in the Ghost Rider movie. He puts himself into a trance while wearing old Egyptian talismans while wearing a big voodoo mask that he bought in Haiti. Do you know why? Because he's Nicolas fucking Cage. <laughs> are, we, are you starting to see a pattern here? I think I am. You are. That's true, by the way. In the Ghost Rider movie, if you watched Ghost Rider 2, the behind the scenes outtakes, or the behind the scenes footage of it being filmed, he's covered in like all these ancient talismans that like, I'm channeling the spirit of the Ghost Rider. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and there's pictures of these like screaming in bad guys' faces as the Ghost Rider. There's like behind the scenes footage is scary because it's Nicolas Cage wearing skull makeup, <laughs> yelling at people, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish they'd just released a version of the movie without the CGI. <laughs> It's just Nicolas Cage wearing a big, wearing skull makeup, screaming at people. I reckon it would have been more popular. I reckon that would have been a better movie. It looks better behind the scenes. Ah! I'm still a big fan of that um, petition they had going. Just give Nicolas Cage the Declaration of Independence <laughs> <laughs> to keep it safe. Did they have to, I'm pretty sure they have to respond to that, didn't they? They do if it gets over a certain amount, yeah. As safe as it would be in Mr. Cage's hands, because the United States government's got a better handle on it than he has, because he's very busy. So Nick Cage he is he's a weird guy, he buys lots of weird shit, but he works for it. Right, obviously he didn't pay his taxes, so, like, bad move. But he didn't do a Wesley Snipes and go to prison, he sat to pay it off. So to conclude, Nicolas Cage might be a crazy weird asshole who randomly buys crocodiles and pyramid shaped super tombs, but he does also give millions of dollars to charity, raise awareness for many worthy causes, as well as being generally a nice guy. So I think he's at the very least deserved the right to be a little bit weird, or not have us be a dick about it. The time has come for us to ride on to our next adventure. And what is that? We're gonna have a three way with the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Right, so if we're doing this video, all I want to ask is, do you know what usually put pictures behind me? Just put pictures of Nick Cage. Every, every, every time you say the name Nick Cage? Yeah, just put another picture of Nick Cage. That's all I want. <laughs> just every time I say Nick Cage, I want another picture of Nick Cage. But instead of it being pictures of him as an actor, do you remember that thing of Nick Cage as everybody? Yeah. Please put that. A lot of people aren't going to get the joke, but I'm going to find it brilliant because I don't watch these videos being edited that much. So I watch them the same time you guys do and laugh my ass off at all the stupid shit this guy puts in the background. So I'm going to look forward to this as much as you are. Oh shit, yeah, we've got to do like and subscribe, aren't we? All right, guys, you know the drill. I have to say this. If you enjoyed the video, why not like, comment, or subscribe? And there's a bell, isn't there? Yeah. Press the bell. I go on YouTube and I watch stupid videos all the time. I didn't even notice the bell. So if you don't click it, I don't feel bad. <laughs> I didn't know it was there till this fucker told me it existed. I was like, well, what's this? Is this, is this like super like? Is this swipe right? Is this YouTube red? I don't know what that is either. It's that, a paid subscription server. Wow, that's gonna, that's gonna do well. That's gonna die a fucking death, is that? Like, how much money has that made so far? Not a lot, I'm guessing. I don't think it's doing too badly. Oh, but you get it without ads.
Yeah, and I think instead of just using ad blocker like everyone else. <laughs> so as well, yeah. If, don't say that. Don't say that. I don't like if you use an ad blocker. I understand. Yeah, that's what. That's how we get paid. What's how you get paid? <laughs> Wait a minute, I pay you. Shit! No! Damn it! No, don't use ad block. Whitelist this page. Whitelist this page. <laughs>